extreme weather events are becoming more intense in the Eastern Caribbean. Protecting people and property can stop climate extremes from turning into disasters. The good news is that there is much more that Eastern Caribbean nations can do to prepare before extreme weather events. Eastern Caribbean governments and regional institutions are already reducing disaster risk and investing in making infrastructure and societies more resilient. But some climate risks will always remain. Governments can plan ahead, so when extreme weather is forecast, plans are ready to go. This is how it works in practice. New types of impact-based forecasts can tell us what kind of weather to expect and also how people and places will be affected. These forecasts can provide information two or three days before the storm hits, further ahead in the case of heavy rainfall, heat, and drought. If the forecast shows that a predetermined threshold has been reached and a disaster is imminent, then decision makers trigger early action to target help exactly where it will be needed. For example, early action could involve keeping the public and business well informed, pre-positioning emergency supplies in places most likely to be affected, paying contractors to check and clear drains, distributing water, food, and equipment, and evacuating people from dangerous areas. In the case of droughts, information is available in time so that governments can extend social assistance programs and also support farmers to protect their animals and crops in advance. There are four key steps to developing a forecast-based early action system so it's ready to work effectively. 1. Assess how extreme weather might affect communities and businesses and register people so that you can contact them and provide support when there's an alert. For this task, governments would benefit from collaborating with civil society groups and researchers to gather better information on the impacts of extreme weather events and who is most at risk and why. Decide the trigger points for early action based on temperatures, rainfall, storm surge or wind speeds and the impacts that these hazards are expected to have on people, property, crops and infrastructure. Two. Get detailed early action plans ready, which involve actions to reduce impacts and respond more quickly when there is a severe weather alert. 3. Stockpile and position supplies and equipment so they can be distributed quickly to emergency workers. Make agreements with contractors to release supplies when they are needed. Verify the list of people at risk and their bank details so they can receive emergency cash to take early action at home. Four. Line up funds for quick release to contractors and people at risk when the trigger is reached. Financing mechanisms are really key. National governments should hold reserve funds that can be released before small-scale emergencies. But for the major emergencies, governments may have to call on regional institutions and funds for support. With more coordination and early action of this kind, the Eastern Caribbean can reduce disaster losses and look forward to a more climate-resilient future. For more information on how to prepare for early action, please visit us online, odi.org.uk slash Caribbean-forecast. <laughs>